if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is March the 30th, 2023, and today the topic is Holier Than Thou. Happy Thursday. <laughs> Happy Thursday, everybody. I hope that you all had a great day yesterday. Mine was just fine. Um... I don't know if you guys hear a difference in my voice or not. I think I I do, so I'm just addressing it. (laughs) It's the elephant in the room. Um, I told you all that earlier this week I had a scratchy throat, and I am healing from that. Um, And I think all the coughing up of cold and whatnot that has taken place over the past, well, over the past day is, I guess, catching up with your girl. So just in case my voice sounds a little different, that is the reason why. But I'm here. Woke up this morning to give the juice. Um, yesterday, well, uh, yesterday was a good day. I mean, you know, um, it got kind of busy in the midday to the evening, but um, overall, it was it was really good, chill day. Um, those of you all that was watching me live, y'all saw that my husband tuned in at some point and was commenting and whatnot um, during the after show. And so afterwards, um, I went to go, not say confront him, but, you know, went to where he was. was like, oh, look at you tuning in. And then we ended up talking and having deep conversation, uh, talking about who we think is going to be those um, two final witnesses in the end times and all of that. And that went to many more conversations and whatnot. But um, then, yeah, we had a moment, I guess you would say. And then next thing I know, we had fallen asleep and whatnot. And then I got up and made myself a little lunch and stuff. And Jay was up around that time as well. Um, And I just chilled out until it was time for me to go and hang out with Madame Miraculous. So I went to this um, school. They had like a science math night situation. And it was me alongside of three other ladies that was representing big thinkers. And... um, we all had different booths and people would go to, you know, the different booths and whatnot. Um, I think everybody else's booth um, was giving them something or having them to make something or do something. But my booth was more so like shows. It was like I did several mini shows um, yesterday. And then after I got done with that, I went to the church to help out in the child care side of things and so perhaps that's another thing that um uh, you know is adding to my voice sounding this way because I, I want to say after I had did all those shows <laughs> um I was like definitely feeling tired and whatnot and my voice and all that was tired but any who's yeah that was my yesterday um y'all know that today is Thursday so we know that a new episode of the GSL Talk Show should be coming out tomorrow, if the Lord's will. Um, Miss Rachel Gentleman is our guest, and so I hope that you guys tune in to it. Like I said, 7 p.m. tomorrow at Friday on Friday. On our our YouTube, you know, the God, Sex, and Love YouTube. And yes, eventually at GodSexAndLove.com. So, this conversation of holier than thou, how did your girl get to this this morning? Well, (laughs) Um, well, first of all, it took me a while to get to sleep last night, man. I kept like, it's like I was tossing and turning, even though I was super tired and whatnot. Um, but I just kept tossing and turning. So I just started to take notice of like what time it was and things like that. And I made a note of those things and I looked at it this morning and they seemed to have, you know, some meaning and whatnot. Um, but I guess I woke up to the side of my alarm this morning. So I woke up around four. And um, 
you know, like I said, with all the coughing and whatnot that I was doing when I got back up, um, eventually I listened to the prayer meditation maybe around, probably around 4.30, whatever it was. But anyway, after I listened to the prayer meditation and I just got on social media and I'm just scrolling on social media. And at some point, I came across this post. And I and I hate that I didn't write it down because I did. I mean, the Lord, you know, brought it to my attention and, and let me know that you need to talk about this today. But at the same time, I just did, it didn't register to screenshot it or copy it or whatever the case is. I just started looking up my verses and whatnot. And so, unfortunately, I might misquote exactly what the post said. But it says something along the lines of, I'm too holy or sanctified or saved it was one of them words something like that it's that i'm too blank one of those things to be dealing with someone at a lower level or something like that y'all i'm sorry i didn't make a note and screenshot it because i tried to look for it and i could not find it um so I can quote it directly. But I guess when I saw that this morning, I just was like, that's that's amazing. That's interesting. Um, well, one, it reminds me of me <laughs> in my situation and whatnot and um, how I struggle with with like when to let go, you know, of individuals or situations or whatnot. And, and one of the main things that has me struggle is because I'm often reminded of my time in need you know I'm often reminded of times when I needed someone to talk to or um things of that nature and people have been there like God has allowed certain people in my life to be there for me in my low moments right and so I try my best to pay it forward um I pay it back as well but honestly the people that um are there for me they don't I ain't gonna say they don't allow me to pay them back but, you know, most of the time, I guess I end up paying it forward, okay? And I'm going to take a sip of water because of my voice, so my apologies, y'all. So with that being said, when I saw that this morning, and I just was reflecting on a conversation I had last night, and just different things like that where it's like, who are you to say those words, you know? And then on top of that, it seems that this quote, was from a minister um and it seems like the person that shared it or whatever the case is was you know i guess quoting them and it seemed like it might have been a sermon now again i'm assuming i was not there to hear these words all i saw was a post with an individual tag um you know tag as if this was a quote by this person x y and z and of course everybody's gonna be clapping and going amen but um I don't know. I guess I got a little something different this morning regarding that, y'all. And um, one of those things is that at the end of the day, this is the issue that people take with us as believers. Um, Christians not being Christ-like. At the end of the day, Christ is the only one that knew no sin. He's the only one that is truly holier than thou. Holier than all. Yet, he humbled himself to be amongst us. He humbled himself to be beaten and all these things for us. And then now we turn up the nose at the next person and say, we holier than thou. Now, they, again, I apologize for not keeping the quote so I could quote it exactly. But ultimately, what I received, what I re read that this morning, was that this individual feels like they are holier than thou. They feel like I am too holy to be around, or the word was that I saw to um, deal with <laughs> uh, people on lower levels. And and I started to look that up. I was like, well, well Lord, what do you got to say about? lower levels and in any type of thing regarding levels when it comes to people because when i read the bible i see things that say there's no you know there's no partiality 
I see things that let me know that, you know, I should think of others higher than myself and things of that nature. And so it's just very interesting, the things that get, I guess, preached, teached, and what people say amen to. And again, I'm just one, you know, person sitting here studying. I'm not sitting here trying to proclaim that I'm any type of leader. So at the end of the day, you can go confirm any of the stuff I'm talking about um, today, you know. But, I mean, I guess this is a good time to get into the word. Because at the end of the day, like I said, when I saw that, it just was very like, I mean, it's sad, it's offensive, it's like, and if this person, if this was said in the pulpit, which it seems like it was, it's like, what Bible are you teaching? Like, the only thing that, and, and again, because I wasn't there, I mean, I may not have the full context, X, Y, and Z, so I will humbly say that, you know? And the only thing that I can think of that this would make some type of sense is, you know, um, perhaps if we're talking about dating and marriage, right? Or perhaps if, you know, you're sharing the gospel and people keep on refusing, refusing, refusing. At some point, you know, you shake the ducks off your feet, right? You wash your hands of the situation, whatever, whatever. You know, I can understand that, you know, so I'll give it that. So if it came from that point of view, okay, okay, you know. But if it's not that and you truly feel like you're holier than thou, you're better than the next person. Um, it's like, we all need to humble ourselves and understand that none of us fit that mold. Jesus is the mold and none of us fit. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not, again, I'm not no pastor or nothing, but when I'm reading the Bible, this is what it tells me, but Hey, I'm just going to go ahead and share some verses. Cause obviously I'm talking too much. So let me get into this, this morning. Uh, Romans 3 and 23, it says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. This all means all. Like, I don't know. That means everybody. Like, even before I got ready to go live, the Lord reminded me of John, 1 John 1 and 8. And it says, If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. So the word says that all have sinned. So none of us are in a position to look down on the next person. I mean, I don't understand why we don't get that. You know, at the end of the day, like I said, this is why I struggle with quote unquote being too nice and all the things that people have to say about me. At the end of the day, I, I too know that, hey, man, I need grace and mercy all the day. You know, I, I, I greatly appreciate those individuals that were on higher levels than me. And spoke life into me at the level that I was at. You know, it's just very interesting. Like, now, again, if we talk about dating and marriage and all that, that's a whole nother thing. I, and I, I can understand to a certain extent, right? All of that. But if we're just talking about being around people or dealing with people or whatever the case is, just in general, oh, this person isn't on my level, whatever, whatever then listen, you need to humble yourself if you have that type of heart and attitude. Um, hopefully nobody listening to the sound of my voice is <laughs> like that. But I'm just telling y'all what I saw today and what has inspired this conversation. But anyway, Isaiah 65 and 5, it says, Who say, keep to yourself, do not come near me, for I am too holy for you. These are a smoke in my nostrils, a fire that burns all the day. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I came across that this morning. I'm like, wow, that sounds exactly like this situation. And it sounds like the Bible is addressing this, this heart and mindset specifically. To, <laughs> let me read that again. It's like, <laughs> this is Bible, y'all, so y'all can go read it for yourself. Isaiah 65 and 5. Who say, keep to yourself, do not come near me, for I am too holy for you. And they say, these are a smoke in my nostrils, a fire that burns all the day. Like, God isn't pleased with that heart and mindset. This reminds me of the message that the children learned <laughs> last week or so ago. Um, and it was talking about, you know, the, 
the parable about the man that had got the grace and mercy. He he owed this sub substantial amount of money, and, and the king or whoever it was, the ruler of that time or whatever, gave the man grace and mercy, say you don't have to repay the debt. And then that man goes to the to his fellow servant, someone on the same level as him, right, that owed a little bit of money and had that, money, that man thrown in jail and all the things. Like, I mean... <laughs> these things are like spelled out so plainly like in the parable in this verse right here but yet we still have our nose tooted up in the air like we didn't like <laughs> the only reason we can even say we have a little bit of righteousness is because of Jesus like that's it like when I'm reading the Bible that's what it's telling me at the end of the day my righteousness alone is like filthy rags. That That is another Bible verse. If y'all want to go quote your girl or go make sure that I'm saying this right. Like, so who, again, who who am I? Who would I ever be to sit here and look at the next person and be like, I can't deal with you. You're not on my level. <laughs> Sorry, I got to drink so much water today, y'all. But still, like, I'm just... <laughs> but it's out here. This is the mindset of many. And I believe that this is one of the main issues when it comes to the faith. Like, we are being a stumbling block in people's way when we act like this. Um, we are being... Um, and, and again, so this, this is... Again, so, okay. So this was just came to my heart and mind. In spite of how people act and what they do and what they say, Right? This is why we should focus on Jesus, right? This is why we shouldn't let anybody uh, turn us away from the faith based on what they do. At the end of the day, you shouldn't be measuring it up with what I do or anybody else, right? Whoever that minister was and all of that, right? That had those things to say. Like, this is why we shouldn't be puffing nobody up. Like, at the end of the day, the goal is Jesus. Like, that's the standard. And at the end of the day... It tells us plainly that none of us reached that standard. That's why he had to come and do it himself. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it, it, it's just interesting, y'all. I'm just, like I said, when I came across that this morning, it just blew my mind. I'm over here like, so did this person say this in the pulpit? Like, I, I mean, I hope that I'm missing some context here. Like, I'm hoping that it wasn't said the way that it was written because that's just a very ugly way of thinking like yo if your heart and mind is looking down on people in any aspect because you think you your your level is greater or whatever the case is like i guess shame on all of us i'll just put it like that i'm about to say shame on you but i shame on all of us <laughs> so okay i'll include myself like i have to remind myself of these words if i ever get to this type of place in my heart and mind like Lord, remind me, you know, Lord, humble me, you know. Um, anyway, y'all, let's keep going. <laughs> James 2 and 1. <laughs> My brothers, show no partiality as you hold to the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. So, again, show no partiality. <sighs> it don't get no plainer, y'all. It just, it's just really clear. Like... <laughs> Why? But we do that. We always show the partiality. We we want to treat somebody, you know, like if this person has versus the, again, like they say, the haves and the haves nots. You'll treat um, these people better than these. Like <sighs> we all have done it one way or another. So I'm not sitting here pointing no fingers. I'm sure I've done it one way or another as well. Um, but again, we should just humble ourselves and just be reminded. Remind yourself of where you was. Friend, when you needed the grace and mercy. Yeah, anyway. Proverbs 28 and 21. To show partiality is not good, but for a piece of bread, a man will do wrong. <laughs> oh, Lord. Look, not even for, I mean, <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, yeah. This, this word say for a piece of bread, a man will do wrong. And it, it plainly says that showing partiality isn't good. So, honestly, I don't really have anything else to add, friends. At the end of the day, again, I, I truly, truly hope and pray 
that 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 quote that I saw was not a sermon. I hope and pray that it wasn't something that was said from the pulpit. Um, I hope, but I mean, if a person is quoting it, it had to been in some. But anyway, because I don't know, because I don't know those details. I hope and pray that it wasn't something that was you know said in a this this way of of in a congregation of people, <laughs> you know, leading people astray with this mindset. Um, I hope that maybe the context was marriage or maybe the context was dating or maybe the context was like, you know, something that would help it make a little bit more sense. But if it just was in general, you know, I can't deal with people on that aren't on my level, then shame on you. And that's the juice. Uh, <laughs> the Bible verse uh, of today is James 4 and 17. It says, Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daddy knows of the inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow, if the Lord's will. Bye-bye. Did you know that you can support us for just 99 cents a month? That's right, friends. You can support everything that we do here at GSL for just 99 cents a month. Take a look around wherever this post is. You might see a link or maybe even a button that says support. Go there. Check out the options. Consider supporting us because, you know, we enjoy bringing you all the daily inspiration as well as the weekly talk show. But we have much, much more to come. Thank you so much for the consideration. Bye-bye.